Hello chat box out there. Today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my weekend. I hope you guys are all having a lovely Sunday and you've all had a great weekend. On my Saturday I got up, got a shower and changed, had some breakfast, listened to a bit of music, I did a new TikTok or two, watched some vlogs, a little bit of coming in. My older brother and sister were at a rugby match and my dad was sort of stuff on the house. My mum got up and then we just watched a bit of TV and then my younger brother and myself went off to Swiss as he got me a gift voucher for my birthday and young sister was up at uni and she's coming down to stay next week as she's nearly graduated and yeah I can't believe that I think she has she did her uni, her uni take photo degree show and she's nearly finished uni it's flown by I still remember taking her up there for her first year of uni and now she's nearly finished can't wait to see her when she comes down and I went to Smith's and <laughs> got this massive bag of dolls. So where to start? Mm, I think I shall start with this one here. This one is the one of the second wave of the extra Barbie dolls. And to be honest, I prefer the first line. I wasn't a big fan of the second one, but this one did catch my eye. I love the details. It's very Lady Gaga meat dress hour where it's very over the top very out there and i absolutely love it and i love her charm bracelet necklace her pearl bag and her pearl shoes as well she's got a pearl necklace she's got a little cupcake ice cream cone purse in her hand and she's got a barbie wing on her hair is such a lovely color and she's got a dog as well which has a hat and yeah I'm not a big fan of the pets that they come with, but I love the sunglasses as well. She's got some nice sunglasses. And this is the little illustration that comes with on the back. And I love her fluffy sleeve jacket. And I think they're dogs or bears on the outfit. And yeah, she's very lovely, her earrings as well. And so really happy with that one. And then, of course, like the lady said when I was on the till, of course, Barbie's got to have a boyfriend, so got these two, or a brother, or a friend. So I got these two Ken dolls. I wanted to get this one because there's a guy I follow on Twitter who looks just like this guy. So I sent him a photo and he was like, oh my gosh. And it's just really crazy how much they look alike. I was like, did they model this doll on you? And uh, yeah, can't wait to open that one. And then I got this one as well. And Jesus, look at the muscles on him. I wish I had muscles like that. And yeah, I now have the three Ken dolls that I wanted to get. I've got one that's over dead I got for my birthday that I showed you in the previous vlog for what I got for my birthday. And then this one here, I got some a doll with some outfits. Of course, I've got to get some clothes for my boot up dolls who are just up there. I'm going to sort out. I think tomorrow or the next day and it comes with that like spotted dress that I'm not a big fan of a nice sparkly dress pink sparkly dress and another purple sparkly dress so those two and the dress she's in are going to go for my pre up dolls and I'm going to put that on her and she comes with a nice bag a load of accessories like shoes handbags and yeah I absolutely love her and yeah I wanted to get some doll clothes packs that you get but they were quite expensive and also the outfits weren't that good so my brother actually pointed this one out and was like why don't you get that because it's it's got it's better for the money so yeah i can't wait to open that and then the last one i got i've already made room in my dollhouse for where this is going to go it is an art teacher doll playset from the you could be anything doll line and i absolutely love it, it comes with a like art board like and some paints and pots and a backpack a little easel i think it's called yeah and you can actually pick we wet the brush that she's got and you can actually draw on it i'm definitely going to be trying that out and yeah so i got those dolls and I am going to be opening those now and showing you guys those in further detail. I'm back after opening the new dolls and I'm going to show you guys the new dolls out of box now. 
but the one I didn't open was this one here as I am collecting these ones. I've got a load up there that needs to be put on a shelf somewhere. I'm a little bit worried that my walls are going to give way because I've literally got so many dolls to put on a shelf. And I've got a BM1959 doll that I'm going to be ordering off Amazon, which I can't wait to show you guys in a later vlog. And now I'm going to get on with showing you guys the ones that I did open. So the first ones I want to show you guys are the Ken dolls. I absolutely love this one. I love his outfit, it's very 90s and this one here looks like one of my younger brother's mates who has his hair quite similar and he's actually similar height because this doll is very tall and I like the different heights and they're very diverse now and they have lots of different hair colours and hair types and skin tones and that's what I really like about Fashionista, Barbies and Kendall's and they're all diverse and then I got this one here, which is the doll set, which comes with three different coats, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I love this doll. Her purse is really cool. Comes with a little folder, so she's like a businesswoman. And yeah, that's really cool. I am tempted to keep her in her outfit that she's in at the moment. I wanted to put this on my pre doll. I might change my mind and put it on my pre doll. But God, I can't get that in, back in now. Oh dear. Come on, there you go. So yeah, I love her outfit, I love her hair. She's got a nice sunglasses on, and yeah, she's very pretty. I'll have to sort her hair out later on, because I've, yep, I'll sort her hair out later on, because I think she's got like plastic from when they're stacking the dot, when they're stacking the packet, they like stapled them down to like the cardboard, so of course trying to get her hair out, of course you have to cut the like plastic stick off and stuff and yeah it's always such a faff getting into boxes of dolls i've always found it's so hard and yes yeah, took me a while to get to them before i used to get the box apart and yeah she comes with this purse like i just showed you nice jelly purse then she has this other purse which is quite nice quite detailed and these pink little boots which are quite nice and this black bag and then these black like sandal things but they're a little bit weird so I'll just put those with the other shoes and the last pair the heel is like really thin which I hate because it means whenever the dolls wear them they just bend and they're not I'm not a big fan of them, but these shoes are lovely. I really like these little white stilettos. And then on to the school art playset. So here she is out of the box. She's got a little paintbrush in her hand. That you, when you get wet, you can draw on there yourself, which I'm definitely going to give that a go. She's got some leggings, some white trainers, a blue apron and a pink and white t-shirt i love the little details like with the brush and the ruler and pencil in her little pocket in the front and all the little paint splodges as well and then the little student the art student with a lovely paint splattered dress it looks like she's having a very good time and they come with a little a little um like step for the student to use when she's on the using the Etzel and now I'm going to show you guys the Etzel so it comes with a backpack that I just hung on the side and then there you go she's got two pots for the that's for the water and two little pots for the paint and then she's got a little paint palette oh god dropping everything a little paint palette which is really adorable and yeah so that is what I got from Smith and I opened those and then I cut off this little bit of artwork that was on the background of the box and it can go up in the classroom of a little art piece that one of the students might have done and yeah I just love Barbie 
doll collecting I've, I've done it for a long time and my cousin Vasa was like when I showed her my dolls I got for my birthday I FaceTimed them and she's like boys can't look like dolls and I was like no 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 boys and girls can like whatever they want don't put gender into a box and be like because you're a boy you can only like football or you can only like this and that no whatever makes them happy let them play with what they like if if boys want to like dolls and dressing up and stuff like that let them if girls want to play football and be tomboys and stuff let them don't think just because of their gender they can't do certain things if they're happy let them do it and i have had a few people comment on my photos i post on like social media and stuff and be like you shouldn't like dolls and stuff and i'm just like oh, it makes me happy and it's really none of your business so yeah i then got back from being at smith's with my younger brother and we went off and got mcdonald's for lunch and we got back and i had that and i'm going to show you guys a photo of that now i haven't had mcdonald's in so long bloody love mcdonald's i had a big mac meal with a sorbet milkshake and then had some I can't remember what they're called now, like cheese dipper things and yeah they were so good and then my younger brother had gone off to sort out his parents window because he does like window fitting and stuff as his job so he'd gone off to do that. My old brother and sister were at a rugby game like I said earlier in the vlog and my dad had gone down to watch them play and then me and my mum were just watching a bit of the tennis. I then went off on a John Almost walk and went off to my high street store market fair thing they have every Saturday afternoon and I had a look around there and I got this lovely wooden notebook that's handcrafted and the detail is amazing I love these flowers I love flower photography and yeah it's very beautiful and then inside there's just a, a random notebook that they just put in there and you can actually change change them in and out like different notebooks what you want to Choose and I've got to be very careful with this because it's very delicate. So I'm going to be definitely keeping that safe somewhere because I don't want that to break. And then I got some fresh made donuts and I got eight for five pound and they smell so good. And I'm going to show you guys a photo of those now. I got a photo because I knew that as soon as I got them back, they would not last very long and I was correct. I then made my way back home and on my way back, I got some flower photography snaps and I'm gonna show you guys those now. I then got back and I had a cup of warm milk and one of the donuts. My mum had one and then my dad had two. My older brother had one and then my older brother and her, my older brother and her boyfriend, came, my older sister and her boyfriend came back from being at rugby and they had the last two. And so everyone got a donut that they who wanted one. My dad had two. There was one left over. I thought, oh, I'll have the last one. And my dad ate it, cheeky mare. And yeah, my old brother and dad got back from being at the rugby game. My old brother had hurt his foot, so he had an ice pack on that. But they won, they did a really good game. And then I had a nap as I was so tired, I had a little bit of a headache. I then finished writing a bit of my journal, watched some TikToks and uploaded some new TikToks, listened to a bit of music. And then my younger brother got back from being at his mate's house doing it with their wife for him and then went off to a barbecue for his mate's birthday. I got ready for work as I work in the evening as my old sister and her boyfriend came over and I gave them the donuts. And then we just sat chatting, watched a bit of TV, listened to a bit of music. And then my mum dropped me to work and I got to work, got clocked in and I was serving food and drinks, cleaning tables, serving food inside and outside. Did a bit of drink until 
work and food and drink ordering and stuff and I'm slowly getting my confidence back but it was so quiet because of the football and cricket I ended up finishing early so I then made my way back home had a nice chat up with my brother and older brother and my older brother and sister and her boyfriend who was still there they ordered a Indian but I didn't have that I just had a snack tea so I think I just had some toast and a cup of tea and then my older sister and her boyfriend went off home my older brother went off onto his Xbox and was resting up as he was a little bit sore from the weather match and then I finished writing my journal listened a bit of music did a bit of drawing and a bit of colouring in and then was just watching a bit of Disney Plus some stuff on Netflix and some stuff on record and was watching a bit of Buffy the Vampire Slayer I then went off to bed and today it is Sunday Happy Sunday guys, I hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday rest. I got up, got showered and changed, had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast and my dad had gone down to cut my grandparents' grass. He got back and then went off to bed. My mum and myself were just watching a bit of TV. Old brother's up and was on his Xbox and he's feeling a lot better since yesterday. And younger brother is at work and older sister is at hers and younger sister is at her uni flat and I think me and my mum and dad, my older brother and sister, are going to be going down to my grandparents' house later on to do a bit of more gardening for their garden, which is looking really nice. But I'm not quite sure because it's looking a little bit gloomy and it's quite windy out there. It's crazy. Yesterday it was so warm, so lovely and sunny. And now today it is crap. And I'm off for three days now. I'm not back in work till Wednesday evening now. So I was like, this is good. I'll be able to get out, get lots of photography, go on lots of nice walks, keep myself busy. And it looks like it's just going to be waning for the next three or four days, which is crap. But oh well, what do you do? Can't control the weather, unfortunately. If I could, I'd make it sunny all the time. But I like it when it's not too warm, but not too cold. When it's just that white, perfect weather, like white in the middle. And yeah, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this vlog. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.